Intuki okay came into being about 20 years ago. Um, I was in Nigeria and uh, there they used their ashoke for all their ceremonial and family occasions and I had to wear the ashoke. I found it a bit heavy and coarse. So I started wearing kente and then they thought that I didn't want to be with them. So I had to uh, think of a way of creating something which would be suitable for me, which wouldn't be too tough, which would be a bit more feminine and which would incorporate the two cultures of the Nigerians and the Ghanaians. So we took four master weavers from Ghana and we also employed four Nigerian master weavers and we started experimenting for about four years and uh, eventually we came up with a, a loom on which we could create the kente oke okay? and that was the, the beginning of, of the product. Kente oke okay is patented for being any type of kente with metallic yarns and any type of Ashoke with Kente designs. Kente Oke has been very well accepted on the fashion market. We have done a lot of catwalks, we've had a lot of exhibitions, we've taken part in a lot of fashion shows. Um, it's been used by quite a few international designers and it has been worn by many celebrities, including Femi Kuti, Wendell Richardson of Osibisa, Santi Ndebele of South Africa, Lady Wating, Nanakwe Rajimai, uh, Mrs. Uh, Teresa Kufo, uh, to name a few. It is the preferred fabric by ladies who know what they want in terms of their fashion image. The yarn that was used is much softer, which makes it more pliable, and you can use it with even soft fabrics like chiffon, um, organza, and it still matches perfectly. It's a great fabric that can be used for furniture. That way, it lends itself to a more international audience. It can fit very well in a, in a very modern house in California, in Venice, in LA, anywhere. And the clothes can be worn by white people, black people, Chinese. It's, it's just a brilliant fabric. And I think Nana has created something quite unique that will promote African culture and work from Africa and actually just make Africa proud. Kente oke akpere nguya ala gba gba ba kai ma ma ja ko ma ni ma nyo ko 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 la ala akpere nguya ala awe ba ma ti ko ba su ko e ma ayo akpere nguya ala gba gba ala ba na ya ma ga we ja ko e ko ma ja ko ba we're thinking of empowering the women and in that sector on this visit that I'm taking to England um, I have nominated three Ghanaian women who have also invented um, products ranging from an anti-aging cream and then uh, a lady who has created a liqueur from the local fruits and alcohol and a lady who has created an ointment and lotion that heals diabetic sickle cells and cancer sores. I invented Asmisol. I invented Asmisol, a drug for curing all forms of ulcers, diabetic, sickle cell and cancerous ulcers. I got this medicine when my father fell sick and I went into the forest to find herbs that could cure him. My drug contains about five different compounds. And after my dad got cured, I sent it for testing and approval at the Food and Drugs Authority, Ghana. Her Royal Majesty, Nana, yeah. Nana got the drug for me and gave it to a friend who had diabetic ulcer. It worked perfectly for him. She then entered my product into the EU win contest. If I win the ultimate prize, it would enable me to expand my company and also train other vulnerable women to acquire a skill and also take care of their families. After this competition, we're hoping to go back to Ghana and to find more female innovators and inventors who have actually created and invented things, but they're not aware. And we're going to screen them and then we're going to encourage them if we find that what they're doing is of international standard, 
and to encourage them to take part in this uh, competition so that it will empower them for the future. When I was in Nigeria, I worked hand in hand with the United Nations, USAID, to set up a training program for less privileged women. Uh, we're hoping to get the United Nations representative here in Ghana to help us to set up a, a, a corresponding program here to empower young people who are also uh, in difficulty. We, in Akwamufi, we have um, the highest rate of teenage pregnancy. And I feel that if we have a program like the one that we had in Nigeria, assisted by the United Nations, this will enable the girls to get a profession and be able to take care of their children.